Hello Scorpio and welcome to your highest timeline reading. You know, for some reason I, I felt like everything got really speedy and then I heard, take your time. You know, I think there's a, it's a time of just taking a breath, breathe in, breathe out, just to sort of slow things down a little bit. Like you're not, you know, missing out. It's like the time is, is now and it's beautiful and sacred. Um, so that that feels like a just a nice little reminder for the week. This is a reading for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and any other strong Scorpio placements in your chart. We check in with the energy for the week. And thank you so much for your support for the channel, Scorpio. I'm so grateful for each and every one of you. Let's draw the Crystal Visions card for the week. Yeah, I feel like here it's like mindfulness is really is really nice. Exciting new adventure. That's beautiful. It's like, oh, okay, very exciting. My voice is changing. It's something, it feels like something that you've sort of wanted to do since you were a kid, like this exciting new adventure could be like, look how speedy up here I'm getting, <laughs> right? And I think that that's why the message came through with take your time because it's like, it's like, oh, finally you get to do this. Finally, it's very exciting, right? But um, that's sort of like the energy of it, but, you know, just slowing down to put the pieces of the plan together for the new adventure. Let's draw your romance angel card here. Yeah, meditation, anything that gives you a bit of mindfulness, you know, as things sort of speed up in these times of, you know, major change and transformation. Love yourself first. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. And I think this is treating yourself, you know, with love. You know, making decisions that are, you know, supportive of your, of your love, care and respect. And, um, you know, I think really taking care of yourself this week. Like with the mindfulness um, message, like sometimes we can sort of get wrapped up in, uh, you know, in this new adventure. But it's like, you know, just taking this time to say, well, okay, let me make sure that I love myself first. Do I have my water bottle? have I got this you know it's like you know just like slowing down a little bit just to um you know check all the pieces of the puzzle are there to make sure that you you're supported uh, in this new adventure you know this could be like a new job opportunity and you're like okay well just make sure this is gonna work for me um let's let's what what exactly is involved here in this situation <laughs> I feel like there's like a bit of like childish it's like Having fun type of energy, but staying grounded, you know. Let's draw you, um, ooh, nice. So Leo got this as well. You might have Leo in your chart because they also got adventure here, this sort of adventure energy. They also got the Artemis card. It says you and your loved ones are safe and spiritually protected. And this is a reminder that during these times of change and transformation, that you are protected by the angels. Artemis is the goddess that, you know, protects those that don't have a voice, right? And it's sort of like you've got this vision and, and this clear path for this exciting adventure and like the fire element here. It's like this, it's grounded in passion, something you've always wanted to do. Um, and just knowing that, you know, in this change that there is going to be I'm seeing literally like this like light of this beautiful sort of you know like cocoon sort of like aura right like this little like aura uh, I saw that for somebody last week who was that for somebody else got that beautiful aura cocoon last week okay so let's get your angel tarot healer of thought Scorpio it's time to clean up your life Wow, okay. It says, get rid of anything that clutters your space or makes you feel disorganized. People who take from you but don't give back should be released as well. Whoa. It says, wow, and suddenly I'm feeling like this um, sort of like closing of the heart chakra. Like it's like, ow, it hurts. Um, you know, where maybe it's sort of you felt like, you know, thing you were being taken from or you felt like... Um, 
you know, just sort of like being taken advantage of, maybe you were like working really hard and not being, you know, uh, treated fairly or something in this situation. And so it, it's saying, you know, to, to sort of simplify things and to, to, to really love yourself, to know that you are worthy of, of, of true love and respect and, you know, being treated fairly and, um, you know, honestly and, and those sort of vibes. So it says people who take from you but don't give back should be released as well. You or another person involved in this situation is wise, insightful and caring, has a wonderful sense of humor and offers a lot of life experience. So that's you, Scorpio. Wise, insightful, and caring has a wonderful sense of humor and offers a lot of life experience. Yeah, very beautiful. Okay, darlings. I feel like it's not complete for some reason. I'm going to draw you another from a deck that I've got in the cupboard under here. Let's see, which one will we use? Okay, this energy deck here. I think because we got that, you know, healer of thought... Excuse the cupboard there. Let's. I just. I just wanted to dive a little deeper with this energy. Oh, look at that! Look at that! But, so you got have courage. So remember, we said about Leo being in your chart. It's like you sort of. You def, There's definitely Leo vibes here. Um, so you know this is strength. Um, and then you got. And this is you know a card of change as well. And here are the ancient ones. Yeah, beautiful. Love this. So this is, you know, spirit guiding you in this change, knowing that when you're in alignment with, you know, loving yourself first, um, that's when you can really, you know, reach for the stars here and reach that, you know, goal and stand strong, you know, in your strength. But I feel like, I feel like this is resonating with you for something. I feel like, oh, okay. Now I'm receiving, ow, okay. Like a pain in the left ear. Like maybe it's news that you don't want to hear um, is generally what that means, darlings. It, it could be, you know, standing strong, right? Standing strong in your self-love. Mm -hmm. And hearing the ancient ones allowing them to guide you through this transformation, through this process. It's like being on the spiritual path here. Yeah, definite, definite change and transformation. I'm just, I'm sort of, you know, see how I'm sort of slowing down now, Scorpio? And it's sort of that sort of vibe, you know, like just sort of, just allowing that, that slowing down a bit of thought, a bit of thought, you know, to the process and standing strong, you know, uh, in, in self-care, love and respect and, um, and that in alignment with spirit as well. Scorpio, love you darlings, sending you all the love and light. Thank you so much for your support for the channel. Um, I'm going to be looking forward to your love reading coming up and I'm just hearing many voices now, uh, like a social setting. I'm hearing laughter. Um, it feels like this very, like this expansive view that's incoming and I feel like it's like going further or, or doing more than you expected and it's actually very beautiful. Uh, not actually, it, it definitely is, definitely is very beautiful. Okay, Scorpio, love and light, my darlings, and I shall see you soon. Ciao for now.